This next exercise is a progression from the head nod into the head lift. We're taking it a step further to include uh, more of the abdominal, especially the upper part of the abs. Place your, interlace your fingers first and place your hands behind the head. <clears throat> Elbows are pointing slightly towards the ceiling. Okay. Your pelvis in neutral and your spine in neutral with a little bit of the gap in your low back. Okay. You start with the nodding of your chin towards your throat to lengthen the back of the neck. And then you bring the chin towards your throat further, nod your head to lift your head, nod further to bring your shoulders towards the pelvis. Right? The pelvis is this part of the body. And then you lower down with control. I'm gonna open it, my elbows just so that you can see my form but you must make sure that your elbows are slightly bent when you do this. Bring your chin to your throat. Bring your chin to your throat more, lift the head. And curl the head and shoulders up off the mat. Okay. You're looking towards the belly. You hold it. Okay. Now, if you have the capacity to lift up, I want you to lift only until the base of the shoulder blades and not any further, right? And if you're not there yet, I would like for you to try to press the ribs down just so that you can lift the legs off the floor more. And then you lower down. Let's do this one more time. I'm going to show you again with my elbows slightly bent this time. Bring your nose to your chin, to your throat. Chin tucked into your throat. Curl the head and curl the shoulders up. And then you stay. Right? Get yourself a little higher if you're not there yet until the base of the shoulder blades. Your legs are relaxed, so there's no tucking and tensioning of the pelvis or the bum muscles. And then you lower down with control. <clears throat> 